everyone! Welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. So I mentioned in my previous Animal Crossing New Horizons video in the description that I'm struggling to make content recently, um, so I've decided to start doing this weekly vlog style thing. So this is the first day of the vlog and I'm going to insert many different days worth of gameplay. As you can see my pumpkins have grown, I haven't actually played really since I planted them, so it's really cool to see them grown and in my garden. I still need to pay off my incline, so I guess let's just go out and explore the day and see what we have to do. I think this is a really nice way that I can keep making New Horizons videos for you all because I feel that whenever I try to record something and one day it's always too short. Hi sweet angel, I was hoping you'd drop by to say hello darling. How are you faring darling? I do hope your land life is everything you hoped for. Barbara's so sweet, I absolutely love her. And it looks like Ruby's fishing today. Come on fishing rod, do your job, you haven't caught anything. Aww, so as you can see I have my pumpkin farm has all grown as well and I have that cute pumpkin item. And actually there was another item in the shop today that I bought earlier called the spooky candy set and I discovered that this pumpkin and hay bale is a table so you can put things on top of it. Doesn't this look so cute? It would be so cute to have these candy sets outside all your villagers houses so it looks like they're giving out candy to anyone that comes knocking. It looks so festive and lovely and I already checked the Able Sisters today and unfortunately there just wasn't really any costumes again which is such a shame but you know. Here's Fuchsia doing her morning exercises and we also have a pumpkin tower over here. I think I got this the day after I recorded with you guys but I haven't really played since then so I only have like two pieces of candy and of course our pumpkin farm over here has grown as well doesn't it look so lovely we got a lot of orange ones over here oh and we have a lost notebook I picked up a lost item. I should probably try to reunite this with its owner. Well, Alright, that gives us something to do today. So why don't we go ask Fuchsia if this is hers. Oh, and I haven't shown you guys this yet, but this is a little area I've made behind my town hall that is basically a recreation of one of my favourite scenes in the movie Howl's Moving Castle. I really, really like this area. It's so beautiful to look at the lake. Hey, what's up, Precious? Rocking the day along? Did you lose this? What? You found something? Let's see it, Precious. Doesn't look like mine, but you know who I bet that belongs to? Go talk to Melba. Yeah, that's true actually. Melba does read a lot and I imagine she likes to journal. She's such a sweet girl, so why don't we go see if Melba's in? Oh, she is, so why don't we head straight on in? Here she is, and look how sweet her little house is. She's so soft and lovely. Muffin, long time no see. You must have been really busy lately. Feels like ages since we've talked. Yeah, it has been a little while. What's up, Toasty? Did you drop this? Oh, can you show me? My lost journal! You found it! Thank you for returning this, and I have something for you. An after-school jacket. It's all yours if you want it. Well, thank you so much. Why don't we see what this looks like? Oh. <laughs> Why do I look like a JoJo's character? No. <laughs> Let's just put my other clothes back on. Aw, oh, Melba's just put her glasses on. Look how cute she is. I love her so much. So I don't really know whether to harvest my pumpkins or not because I don't have any pumpkin recipes. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to unlock them. Do you guys know, do I unlock them from harvesting pumpkins or do I just get them randomly? I have no idea because I don't have any pumpkin recipes right now. Yeah, I'm not sure whether to harvest my pumpkins or not. Obviously I will eventually, but I was waiting to unlock a pumpkin recipe first. But I'm not sure if it's going to work similar to the Easter event where you unlock recipes just by collecting eggs. Hello good friend. Right now I'm taking donations for a white plant cramp. Our goal is 128,000 bells and we only have 66,000 and we still need another 61,000 so I definitely am not going to pay that off today unfortunately. Well I look forward to your support in the future pal. I wonder if we'll be able to pay this off by this week. I doubt it but I'm going to try my best to try and some bells whenever I have time to play. Oh Gulliver's here. Well actually it's Gulliver. <laughs> He's so cute. Mm, R, don't want to get up, Ma. Let me sell the seven Z's. <laughs> seven Z's. I love that. <laughs> Let's hit him with a net and see if that wakes him up. <laughs> yo ho, yo ho, pirate sounds, etc. <laughs> well, that didn't work. R. Oh, he's finally woken up. R, have that you, Cortez. Three swords and a hook? Let's make this a fair duel. I'll tie one wing behind my back. Har, I. Blimey, what a dream! I was in the midst of a fierce pirate battle with one of my greatest rivals, R. Say, if it isn't Lulu. Good to see you again, Skipper. Sorry I came out swinging, didn't mean to give you a scare. Matter of fact, it was a few practice swings of my fearful fisticuffery that sent me tumbling overboard. Now, I've got to message my buccaneer buddies for another rescue, so as long as I have my trusty old communicator, I'll be just... Uh... Oh my gosh! 
My trust in communicator has gone and vanished. Arr! Those waves bopped me around like an inflatable beach ball. The thing must have slipped out of my pocket. That means I'm lost at sea. I'll have to wait for my buccaneer buddies to find me on their own. That could take quite a bit of time. I'm still workshopping my pirate pun, so this this is sure to run out fast. <laughs> oh, those are sure to run out fast. Ahoy, you with the whale-sized noggin. Will you help a stranded seabird find his lost communicator? Ah, oh, you means it? Now there's a shanty deserving of a jig. My gut says my communicator is in a nearby ocean. My crew is surely searching for me, so I should keep look out. Got to be on the land for that, you savvy? That means it's up to you to swim about and find me communicator. I'm counting on you, matey. Oh, and make sure there's room in your pockets before you hunt, else you'll be blundering your plundering. Alright, so we gotta go diving. I don't actually have my diving costume with me right now, so I'm just gonna head back to my house and grab that. He said it'd be in a nearby ocean, so I'm just gonna dive straight from the beach that he's on. Here we go, let's put snorkel mask on and the horizontal striped wetsuit. I don't actually ever go diving in this game either. There's a lot of things in this game that I just don't do really. Like I hardly ever play nowadays to be honest with you guys. So I think making this sort of weekly vlog style video actually encouraged me to play a lot more than I do. Because I have kind of just been going off the game a little bit recently. But I think this will give me a chance to explore the game a lot more with you guys. Because it has been a little bit difficult to make videos when there isn't like anything new to talk about. And um, a lot of you guys already know this but the villagers are just a lot more plain compared to how they used to be. So I don't usually have much fun conversations or anything. I'm glad that Gulliver is here today at least. Here we go. And we got it. And it matches our diving suit too. I found the communicator now to bring it to that pirate. Okay let's head off. Ooh, and we got some acorn barnacles too. Here we go. Oh, let me just put my clothes back on so I don't get too cold. It is autumn after all. There we go. Arr, have you found it yet? Yar! <laughs> Here you go. Arr, that's it. That's my precious communicator. <laughs> I thank you with all my heart, matey, with extra cherries on top even. Now I can contact my fateful crew. I've asked you lily livered sea dogs, tis I, your beloved captain who makes things happen. I had another bad spill, so you best change your course and come pick me up. Be quick about it or I'll buckle your swashes for good, so says Captain Gulliver. Oh, that ought to put some wind in their sails and no mistake. You saved my life, and that's a debt that needs repaying, so I'll ship you a fine reward soon. Ah, that takes a load off. Nothing left to do but wander this here beach and look mean. Here I go. Arr! <laughs> oh, I absolutely love Gulliver. I think he's so fun. I love Gulliver as well. I think he's such a sweet angel, but Gulliver was just such a surprise to me when they brought him into the game. And I think he's so much fun. His conversations are really funny. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're just going to be playing In Little Land again. I'm going to be adding this onto the last video. Like I said, this is going to be a weekly vlog style video. So I hope you're all having a lovely day today. Why don't we check what's in our mail? So we have a letter from Gulliver to my matey Lulu. Ha, you saved my feathery hide. I owe you my life, so I'm sending over a bit of my booty. Remember though, we may be far apart. We're always connected by the open sea. Ugh, you got me sounding all mushy. Captain Gulliver. <laughs> he's so sweet. I really want to know what he gave us because he's only ever come to my island once before. We also have this letter from Fang saying, So Muffin, thanks for the letter and for the gift too. Real darn nice. You ever think about how a bajillion years of evolution came up with you? Pretty neat, yeah? Come over sometime soon. Whatever, bye. Fang. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. I love him so much. Ruby says, Dear Fairy Lou, the surprise present you sent made me super happy. In return, I'm secretly giving you and only you an item that every pop star needs. I hope you think it's totes fab. See you around, Ruby. And we also have a letter from Melba saying, This is it, Muffin. I've been told so many times that I take things too seriously, so I'm going to really try to loosen up. From now on, I'm going to be more spontaneous, less stuck on rules and recipes. I'm serious. Oh. <laughs> She's so cute. So we've got a lot of things to open today. So first of all, the present from Gulliver. We got a pirate beard. Oh my goodness, I look like my boyfriend. <laughs> oh, that's so funny and cute. And we also have our present from Ruby and it's a fitness tank. Um, she always sends me boring clothes as much as I love Ruby. She always sends me like the most plain presents. I think personally my Ruby would never send me. Okay, and I've just changed our outfit for today since I was wearing the same one as yesterday. So, I guess let's just get on with our day. As you can see, I still haven't done any work on my island. Ruby's out here fishing, as always. Hey little fishies, I'm going to be famous someday. Come get your picture taken with me. She's so sweet. I love when she's wearing her pink maid dress. She looks so adorable in it. Looks like Fang is outside, so we can't go see him. He told us to come over, but he's not even in. <laughs> and looks like... 
Red isn't here as always, he never comes to visit. It's gonna take me years to complete my art museum. And so I guess why don't we head into the shop and see what Halloween item we can buy today. Oh my goodness, what is that? That pumpkin looks really weird. Seems like you're interested- oh it's a spooky chair, it's a little stall that you can sit on. That is so cute! I hadn't seen that item before. I was thinking that pumpkin looks really weird at the top, but it's because it's a little chair. That's so cute! And of course we need to buy our candy for the day. I've actually been really bad and keep forgetting to buy this, so I only have like one or two pieces. Okay, and now we're done in there, we might as well go to the Able Sisters and see what costumes are for sale. So, we've got a sailing uniform, a viking top, a cowboy top, our kimonos, these are so gorgeous! We have the lace-up dress, the matching headdress. Oh, and we have this Magic Academy hood. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. Wow, that looks so awesome. It kind of looks like the hat I already have. They already have a hat like this, but it isn't like all bendy at the back like that. But again, doesn't seem like they have much that I want to dress up for for Halloween. So unfortunately, I'm not really going to get anything today. Oh, and of course all our pumpkins have grown. They look so lovely. Actually, why don't we head off to our witch's area because we don't really see that area anyway. So I don't mind harvesting the pumpkins from there. I really wanted to know if I harvest the pumpkins will I unlock a recipe of some sort because I don't have any Halloween recipes. And I've had people tell me that they already have all of them. And that really confuses me because I haven't even got one and I wonder if you unlock them from harvesting these. So I guess we'll see in a moment. It's so fun harvesting these though. Looks like most of these came out orange. And we don't have any room in our pockets. Okay. As always, I have to go empty them. But so far we haven't unlocked any recipes. So I guess it's just something that I'm supposed to find through balloons or uh, messages or something like that. I haven't even seen one Halloween recipe, so that's a massive shame. I also don't have any acorn recipes. I never get any of them. I really wanted like the big archway with all the acorns all over it. I wanted the little acorn bag as well, but I haven't had any of that stuff unlocked for me, unfortunately. Well, now that we've harvested our pumpkins, I'm not really sure what we should do with them because we don't have any recipes. I guess they look cute just sitting around on the island at least. Oh, we can eat them as well, that's cool. That'll be useful for when I'm moving around trees and everything. Oh yeah, and Isabel said we had someone in our campsite today, so why don't we go see who it is? Oh my goodness, it's Bill! This is one of my friend Gab's favourites. Hey yeah, you live here? My friends call me Bill, Quacko. I'm on a quest to find a new rival. My last one flexed so hard they got stuck like that. It was awesome. Hmm? That look in your eye. I think you might have what it takes. Let me know if you need a rival. <laughs> oh, look at him! He's so simple and cute! This island feels just about perfect for interval training. Once I start, it's hard to stop. Um, I mean that's really hard to stop, start, stop. Wait, hang on. Alright, what I'm trying to say here is that once I start, it's hard to stop doing intervals, Quacko. Oh, I don't want him to move in. Okay, so interval training is when you start working out super hard, then go slow for a bit, and then go strong again. I didn't do a good job explaining that before. Oh well, Quacko. Anyway, I just hope someone appreciates this place like I do. The workouts here are intense. <laughs> Look at him with his little cup of tea. Aw, oh, he's so sweet. I love his bangs. Hey, you wanna play a quick game with me? I promise it's got nothing to do with muscles this time. Anyway, if you win, you can have my biker jacket. What do you say? Sure. That's what I wanna hear. Alright, do you wanna hear the rules or live dangerously, Quacko? Oh, I wanna hear the rules, please. You want rules? You got it. Okay, all cards have suits. The heart, diamond, spade, and club marks, and all suits are either red or black. Well, get set to flex that knowledge. I want you to guess whether the suit with the top card is red or black. Guess it right and I'll hand over my biker jacket, just like that. Now steal those abs because it's game time. And there's the tip off. Okay, what colour is the top card? Mm, I'm gonna go with red. This one's for the championship. It's red! That's a free point of Grand Slam hole in one straight between the uprights. Go! <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm getting festival flashbacks from our City Folk Let's Play. That's game, congratulations, enjoy my biker jacket. Oh, that was easy, only one round. Alright Lulu, go hit the showers Quacko. I just realised this top says Nintendo on it, that's so sweet. Why don't we see what this biker jacket looks like? Oh, it actually suits my outfit so well. Thanks Bill. <laughs> oh, I really hope this makes my friend Gab happy seeing him in the game because he's so cute. Oh look, Flick is here! I actually have some butterflies I wanted to ask him to turn into little statues for me. Uh, I left them by Barbara's house, let me just drop my pumpkins and everything. And then I'll go get those and we can ask him to make us a sculpture. There we go. Oh hey, remember me? Flick? The guy who loves bugs and all their skittery chittery sometimes glittery glory? So if you find a bug, will you sell it to me? I could pay a little extra, no price is too high for my chitinous kindred. And if you're um, interested in my art at all, just let me know. My commissions are open. Well, I would like to commission you, please. 
Oh, I see. The time has come for we two travellers to begin our journey together. What bug have you chosen to act as our guide? I've chosen the Emperor Butterfly, my favourite butterfly. Can you part with three of them? Yes, I can. Here you go. It's called a commission. I mean, um... And so our contract is bound, human. Already I feel the all-consuming fires of the creative inferno warming my becoldened blood. When I have completed my labours as midwife to the muse, I'll ship you the Emperor Butterfly by mail. Okay, so I'm looking forward to having that. Next time I actually want him to make a figurine of this butterfly right here, the orange one, because I think they'll be really nice to have around during autumn time. What are these called? Oh, the monarch butterfly. They're so pretty as well. So next time he comes over, I'll have to ask him to make one of those instead. Hi everyone! Welcome back to this video, I guess? I need to stop saying hi everyone because no one wants to hear me say hi everyone five times in one video. I promise I won't say hi everyone tomorrow, but I'm gonna have to get used to that. Um, looks like today we have a letter from Flick, and they said, Behold, my piece inspired by the noble Emperor Butterfly. Sadly, my work can reveal only a fraction of its likeness. May it bring bugs ever further into your heart. Well, I'm glad I finally have that sculpture because now I can decorate my island with it. As you can see, nothing really much has changed on the island. I still haven't decorated much. I just haven't really been inspired too lately. But I'm sure there'll be a time where I am inspired. And actually, today is Drift's birthday. I'm not sure if I already mentioned that. But yeah, today's his birthday. As you can see, I have a little present waiting for him in this little fairy ring next to his house. I really hope he's gonna like it. I actually can't remember what is in it. I know that I wrapped him a gift and left it outside his house a while back, but I can't remember what's in it. It could be like a weight training thing, or it could be just something random that I can't remember. So that's what we're going to be giving him today. Hopefully it's something good that he's gonna like. But we're actually gonna wear this cute outfit today. I'm not gonna dress up all silly like I did at Fuchsia's birthday party. Oh, Claude is here! Hello no, Fairy Lou, so glad you made it! Don't be shy, high five into the party, Dribbit! <laughs> oh, look at him! Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh guys, this makes me so emotional. I'm I'm not sure why. I think it's because I've had Drift since I was a child in my island. Like he's always been in my Wild World towns, my city folk town. He's just always in every single game I play. So seeing him celebrate his birthday like this makes me so happy. Hehe, <laughs> Claude gave me a special present earlier. Well, cause today's my special day. I'm going to use my brain muscles and guess that maybe you have something for me too. Yep, I do. Here you go. I wrapped it in red wrapping paper for you. Yeah, I'm going to open it. Whoa, that's totally a flame tea. Oh, it's not a weight lifting set. Hehe, <laughs> no doubt about it. You and I have similar tastes, Dribbit. I'll take good care of your present. Thank you, Dribbit. Look at him in his little suit. I just noticed. Him in his suit. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. I love seeing Drift in a suit so much. Look at his cute little face. Oh. <laughs> You guys, this makes me so emotional. I love Drift so much. I've always, always, always wanted to see my villagers celebrate their birthdays so well like this. This is one of my favourite features in New Horizons because I just think it's so lovely to see villagers celebrating their birthdays and having a little birthday party. And seeing villagers I've known like since I was a child celebrate their birthdays like this is so cute. <laughs> Look at them dancing together. <sighs> That's so adorable, my goodness. My goal this year is a billion squats. My legs will be so huge, they'll each have their own government. <laughs> Typical drift. <laughs> Before my next birthday, I'm going to make my major racquetball debut. We're talking big time, baby. I mean, that's my dream anyway. Maybe it'll come true, Dribbit. Aw, oh, well, I hope it does come true, Drift. You deserve it. All this attention makes me feel like a superhero. Thank you, thank you. No time for autographs, folks. Gotta go suplex a volcano, Dribbit. <laughs> Oh, I love him so much. I'm so glad you're here to celebrate with me today. It's really nice to have good friends, Dribbit. <laughs> Drift, oh my goodness. I love you. You're so sweet. Okay, I need to leave this birthday party before I start crying. <laughs> I really hope Drift has a lovely day. This birthday party was so cute. Leaving so soon, Fairy Lou? Well, thanks for today. And thanks for getting me a present. Later, Dribbit. Well, wasn't that just so lovely? Oh my goodness. We've been so lucky celebrating our villagers' birthdays recently. Since I had to wait this whole time for even one birthday, and then it was Fuchsia's, and now it's Drift's. I'm pretty sure it's Lyman's soon as well. So why don't we see what Halloween furniture there is for us today? Whoa, we have the Halloween archway! And Ruby's here! Seems like you're interested in a spooky arch. 18,000 bells?! Oh my goodness, I do not have the money for that. What are you up to, Ruby? Hi, Fairy Lou! What a quinky dink running into you here. Find anything good? If I get bored, I so love to come here and browse. Free entertainment. Oh, labels here. Oh my goodness, and Vic, and Mint, and Fuchsia, and Lyman, 
And Fang, everyone is here in the town hall. What the heck? Look at them. <laughs> They're all doing aerobics. How cute is this? I love just watching them work out, especially Lyman. He pulls like the cutest faces. It's so sweet seeing Fang work out as well in his little tracksuit. Oh, it's so nice to get so many of my villagers in the same spot like this. This hardly ever happens. <laughs> Look at Lyman and Fang. I love them so much. And Vic is over here doing weights. So cute. Oh, hello there. I'm here on Lil Land to study design some more. If it's not an imposition, would you mind doing another style session with me? I'd love if you showed me an outfit that's outdoorsy. Imagine you're going for a hike or perhaps camping. What would you wear? You could also try on some casual loose fitting clothes. Just imagine yourself at a picnic in the park. I'll give you some outdoorsy clothing so you have an idea of the look I'm going for. I can do a picnic in the park. That's like my favourite thing. You see, it's a Fisher hem? Hopefully I'm saying that right. Now try to put together an entire outfit with outdoorsy written all over it. If that sounds too hard, just wear some items that look like they'd go nicely with what I gave you. I'll be waiting here, okay? Alright, well actually, I was smart and I've placed a wardrobe outside for things like this. So there's actually a pair of wardrobe right by Melba's house that we can use. So let's see. Uh, oh, I'm guessing this is what it is. Oh, it actually goes kind of well for a little hat. Oh, that's actually so cute. Um, I don't think I actually have much that will go with this because I'm not sure what this type of top is. I, I'm, I really don't know what this is. Um, I've never seen anyone in my life wear this, so I don't know what would go with it to look outdoorsy. Um, so I guess I'll go with picnic. She said loose fitting. This is a casual loose fitting dress. Maybe a uh, grape harvest basket goes well with it. And if I was going to a picnic... Oh, I'd imagine it's like a warm day, so I'd wear something like some, just some little shoes that are easy to slip on and off. And of course, if you go for a picnic, you should always wear a cute little hat or flower crown. Oh, we'd also have like rice on our mouth from eating all the stuff at the picnic. And maybe a little hat would go well. Oh, I think these ones actually look better. So why don't we go with this? <laughs> oh, this looks so cute. This is like the outfits I'd wear during summertime. It's really nice to wear this again during autumn. What do you guys think? I think it looks adorable. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Why don't we go see what Laybell thinks? Ah, it looks like you've changed clothes. Might I see that outfit? Oh good, let's see it then. Ah, hmm, I see. Your outfit has an outdoorsy look to it and it's very unique. I like it. Looking at your creation. Yes, I have learned something new about clothing coordination. Thank you for that. I'm going to send a little gift to your home to show my appreciation. Just don't forget that Taylor's tickets are supposed to be used at the Taylor shop, okay? Well, thank you so much. I hope you'll consider helping me again in the future. Well, it actually seemed like she didn't like the outfit as much as she usually does. Usually I get a response like, wow, this is amazing. This is the most perfect outfit I've ever seen. But this time she just said she liked it. So yeah, she didn't seem that impressed. I don't think we did so well today, but I wasn't really sure what I could wear. This is what I'd wear when I go out. So, you know, everyone's style is unique. I actually really miss Gracie. I think that her style of judging your clothes was way more fun because she was like super harsh and critical and would like insult you sometimes. I always loved that about her. I'm not supposed to say hi everyone this time, am I? Um, hi. Um, today is the fishing tourney, which is exciting. I haven't played the fishing tourney in a long time. We have some letters today. One's from Drift and he said, Dear workout pal Fairy Lou, thanks for remembering my special day. Your gift's really gonna power lift our friendship. Ha. Anyway, here's a little something in return. I really hope you like it. We have a letter from Label saying, Thank you for helping me with my design studies the other day. I sent you some tailor tickets. Yeah, that's kind of lame. I never even take those out of the letter. And Vic says, Got some advice, Fairy Lou. I'm probably always yakking about how you should work hard, but you've got to know how to kick back and be lazy too. It's an important life skill, kiddo. Go take a bath, eat some candy, and call me tomorrow. Not a physician, Vic. That is so sweet. I've actually been feeling really bad about being lazy recently. So that letter actually came at the right time. So Drift sent us some butterfly shades. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at those. They actually suit my outfit so well. So like I said, today is the fishing tourney. I haven't played the fishing tourney in ages. I don't even know when the last one was, but I don't usually... I don't really like competing in it because I find Chip Jr. very annoying. I'm sure you all know that by now. Red isn't here, as always. Um, but yeah, I find him very annoying. I'm not sure if they've updated the menu yet because if you watched my last fishing training video, I'll put a card on the screen if you didn't watch it. It was just very stressful. And Ruby's here fishing again. Come on fishing or do your job, you haven't caught anything. I guess that's why she's been fishing all week, because she's been practicing for this fishing tourney. Oh, look who it is. My least favorite character in the game. <laughs> oh, I actually just dislike him so much. I'm sorry, Chip Jr. fans. It's no, it's no like offense to you or anything. You can like whoever you want to like. But I absolutely hate him. 
I hate him so much. He just makes me so angry. And I just hate his personality. I hate his face. I hate everything about him. And that's the tea. So I'm glad I got that anger out of the way. And I'm actually just going to cut out all of his conversation from this video. Because you know it's going to be long and boring. Unless they've changed it, obviously. I won't put you through the horror that I have to go through. So I guess I'll see you in a minute. Okay, let's go. He finally shut up so we can actually go catch some fish. Oh, Fuchsia's fishing in the pond. Oh, damn it. I forgot I made a tea shop on this beach, so I'm not going to be able to fish on this one. Ah! Oh, no. We're doing bad already. <laughs> I didn't really think about where I was actually going to go catch the fish. Maybe over here. Oh, here we go. Here's one. Oh, my goodness. Why do I do that? Ah! Do you guys ever get anxious and just, like, click the button even though you didn't mean to click the button? I do it all the time. Why do I have to do it during a fishing tourney? I'm so annoying. Oh, here's another one. goodness I'm so annoying we're doing so bad we only have a minute left I haven't even caught one fish oh okay we got this one thank god <laughs> okay we need to catch two more otherwise we won't even get that extra bonus come on sea bass come on Mr. Sea Bass come on Mr. Sea Bass hell yeah and there's a message in a bottle over there we need to go get that afterwards so let me know guys, do you take part in the fishing tourney and bug offs? Because honestly, after I realised that you get the same prizes every single time, I just like stopped competing in them. Because I don't know if you noticed, but I named my first, I think it was the bug off video, like summer bug off or something like that, or June bug off, because there was supposed to be one every month. And then I realised that you get the same items every single month, because I was going to make a video for every single bug off and every single fishing tourney. You get the same prizes every single time, so I was like, I'm not going to make a whole video to do the same thing that I've already done. I really feel like they should give us like new furniture items for each season. I think that would make sense, or at least different colours, like different colour options of the same stuff. I'm not sure why there's only one furniture set you can win every single month, but you know, Nintendo doing their usual. So we got a letter from Bettina, again I'm not going to read it, and of course we already know this recipe. <laughs> Do you guys ever get new recipes and bottles? Because I never do. I remember I posted on my community tab, you can probably go find it, but I posted on my community tab when we first found out about Message in a Bottles making a return. I was so excited about it, and I realised the other day, that, well, that was a f lie, wasn't it? Because they're not even Messages in a Bottle, they're just recipes in a bottle. It's not, you don't get to send messages like you used to in old games. It's so annoying. Do any of you find that annoying? Probably not if you're like new to the franchise. When I saw the screenshots of messages in a bottle, I was so excited because I thought it was the same messages in a bottle from all the old games. Why would it be different? Like you can send your friends messages in a bottle, you can send a message out in a bottle and then one of your friends might find it and you get random ones with really funny little messages in. Or maybe you'll get like a rare fruit in one of them. I always thought that it was so fun in the old games. I didn't realise that in this game it would literally just be the same letters written from the same personality types and just recipes that you already have. <laughs> we got a Papa Panda. Oh my goodness, I really wanted some full DIY recipes because I don't have any. I've never been so disappointed to get a massive pink teddy bear in my life. Oh. Okay, let's go. This time I know exactly where I need to go, so hopefully we'll do better this time. Oh, Fang and Melba fishing together. That was so cute. So I'm actually going to use this beach because this beach is pretty much empty, well it's covered in furniture but it's pretty much empty by the shoreline so it's easy to catch fish. And we can also check down this beach here, yes, Mr. Seabass coming through for us once again. Oh here's another one, woo we got a red snapper. Do you guys like my outfit? I think I look like a pumpkin today, I'm very orange. I've been really enjoying making outfits for autumn time. And just dressing all cosy like. I can't wait for all the leaves to turn brown. Because then I can dress up as like a little mushroom fairy. It's going to be so good. I'm so excited for autumn to fully kick in in Animal Crossing. And I'm even more excited for winter. Winter's my absolute favourite. And I just can't wait to experience it in this game. Okay, we really need to try and catch one more fish. I doubt we'll be able to catch another fish now. Oh, here we go. Oh my goodness, we only have like five seconds. 
Oh, he bit it first time. How lucky is that? Okay, let's head back to the annoying man himself, Chip Jr. And let's go read through this pointless dialogue so we can get our prize. I can't wait. Oh, we got a wand. There's a key for your very own fish wand. Why don't we see what that looks like? Because I haven't won that before, I don't think. Oh, that is actually so cute. Oh my goodness, there's geese flying over. Can you guys hear the geese? Probably not, but a load of geese just flew over my house. They're really noisy. Check me out. I'm going to catch the biggest, baddest fish on the island, Dribbit. <laughs> Look at Lyman over there. I really miss in the old games where you could tap them from across the river and they'd wave at you. In this game, they don't even see you from this far away, so it really sucks. But in City Folk, you could tap them and they would wave at you from far away. It was really, really cute. I wonder why they got rid of that. But yeah, again, I wonder why they got rid of a lot of things in this game. <laughs> Can you tell I'm getting annoyed about that? Are you okay, Lyman? I think these scaredy fish are just afraid of my huge bulging muscles, Chips. <laughs> Definitely. Well, I'm actually going to leave it here for today, guys, because I can't be bothered to sit through more of Chip Jr.'s dialogue. And, you know, we've done it all before. It's just catching fish. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and I'll speak to you tomorrow, I guess. Hi, guys. So actually, I almost forgot to record today. That's why it's so late. And I just remembered it's Lyman's birthday, so I need to record. Um, so here we are. Actually, I'm going to go change my outfit, because I think I wore this in the last one, but I can't remember. So I'm just going to go change this quickly. Okay, here we are. And let's check our mail for today. We have a letter from Barbara. And also I ordered just some random stuff to gift other villagers. Busy little lollipop, as island life becomes normal life, we lose that vacation in paradise feeling. But spending time at the beach will help you remember it. I hope this gift encourages you to stick your toes in the sand. Enjoy the vacay, Barbara. And of course we have no space in our pockets. Uh, let me just drop something quickly. By the way, if you can hear any weird sounds in the background, that's just my cat eating. He's eating biscuits right now, and you might be able to hear it, so I'm sorry if you can, but I'm not gonna not feed him, you know what I mean? She gave us a beach chair. Oh, I already have this one. I don't really need it. That's a shame. But like I was saying, today is Lyman's birthday. We get two birthdays in one video, and I think just the last Animal Crossing video as well, it was Fuchsia's birthday, so we've just had so many birthdays recently. It's so nice. I really love the birthday events. As usual, Red isn't here. Just continues to disappoint me, I see. Yeah, so first of all, I guess why don't we check in the shop and see what Halloween furniture is available for us today. Oh my goodness, look at that! That is so cute! Why do I find that so cute? Oh, we also have the white fridge. Oh my goodness, I really badly want this. I don't have any bells though. Oh my goodness. I need to earn some bells, guys. I really want that fridge. And that little Halloween scarecrow thing is so cute. I'm definitely gonna have to go make some bells and buy that later. Oh, Fang is here. What is he doing? Am I really looking at one of your designs here, Muffin? Because I gotta say, I'm pretty darn impressed to jump. <laughs> oh, he's so sweet. I've seen him wear my teddy bear jumper before and he looks so cute in it. So let's check the fitting room and see the Halloween costumes. We have a hoodie. A long skirt, I guess that would be nice for autumn time. Um, we have these checkered dresses, which I love so much. Not checkered, sorry. Um, I'm not even sure what this pattern is. Argyle? Argyle pattern? I don't know. Tweed dress, I guess. They're so cute. I really love these. I have this one already. And we just have those same hoods. We have the brown sheep hood. I don't have that one yet. Or the blue one. Oh look, it's Nintendo when they don't add Brewster in the full update. And as usual, there's nothing here. I'm continuing to be disappointed in this game. Anyone else? Anyone else just had no good costumes. Actually, my friend Michelle sent me a picture of all the costumes that are available and they're so bad. I don't mean to be a nag, but like they're all just so plain. I don't even... Oh my goodness! Look at that! Okay, I'm gonna shut up moaning now because look how cute this is! Look how cute! Vic is singing and Ruby and Claude are watching and Ruby's wearing my mushroom sweater. Why did I say sweater? I'm not American. I've been talking to Americans too much, guys. What I meant is jumper. Look how cute this is! Oh my 
my goodness, I love Vic so much. This has just made me so emotional, it's so cute. Hi there my fabulous bestie, thanks for chatting with me. Don't you love being outside when the weather's like this? We need to have a picnic sometime. Yeah we do, that would be so nice. Hey there Fairy Lou, was hoping I'd see you. After a walk, I like to throw back a nice ginger ale cud. Let's get one together sometime. That's so cute. I'll just leave them to carry on singing and enjoy their afternoon. <laughs> but like I was saying guys, it's actually a little bit stressful being British and having a mainly American audience because I often say things and I'm like, wait, you guys don't know what that is? Or you guys will say things and I'm like, I don't know what that is. So <laughs> oftentimes I'm trying to use American words and it's a bit stressful for me. Like I just said sweater when I meant jumper and that's just not right. I shouldn't change the way I speak, you know? Well, hello, I take it you're done giving me the silent treatment. I didn't realize I had been ignoring her. What was I supposed to think, my dear? You know, it's okay to drop by and say hi without any particular reason. I'm always happy to chat with you. Oh, I'm sorry, Min. I didn't mean to ignore her. I just haven't really spoke to many of my villagers recently. Oh my goodness. She's sat on the cushion. Look how cute she is. <laughs> I love when they use the little areas that I make for them like this. And I love that she's just hanging out outside Lyman's house, even though she doesn't live anywhere near here. That's so cute to me. But I guess it's going to see Lyman. Oh my goodness, he's celebrating with Melba. Yo, Fairy Lou, so glad you made it. Oh my goodness, they're so cute celebrating together. Oh, they're such a cute couple. If you guys didn't know, Melba's favourite colour is green. And I just have this theory that Melba and Lyman are completely in love. I feel really bad because they used to live right next to each other and then I moved Lyman's house over here. So I worried that they don't get to see each other as much anymore. But it looks like they still love each other just as much as I thought. That's so cute. I really appreciate that you, my good friend, stopped by. And I'll appreciate it even more if you, my good friend, have a present for me, Chips. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> of course I have a present for you, Lyman. I actually got him a green toaster. I wasn't sure what to get him, and then I found this in my storage and I thought he'd love it. Yes, I can open it now, right? Oh, oh wow, did you really? A pop-up toaster? Yeah, green one too. Look at his face. You're so cool. I can't believe you got me such an awesome present. Thanks for the birthday present. You and me, friends for life. <laughs> Lyman, I love you so much. Look how cute this is. This is so cute. I'm gonna cry. I wasn't sure you'd come, Muffin, but I'm glad you did, Toasty. This birthday party is going to be even more fun now. <laughs> Look at her. I hope I can throw a party like this for my birthday. I'd love for you to celebrate with me then too, Muffin. Of course I'll celebrate your birthday with you. Look how cute Lyman is running around. He just makes my heart so happy. I love his big yellow nose. I love his little eyebrows. I love his smiley mouth. He's just so sweet, and actually he was the first villager to give me his photograph. So I guess he's my best friend on the whole island. I love him so much. He's such an underrated boy as well. I never hear anyone say they like Lyman. I don't know anyone that has Lyman as their favourite villager. I absolutely love him. I had him in New Leaf. He just turned out to be really cute. Before my next birthday, I'm going to make my major boxing debut. We're talking big time, baby. Oh, he's seen the same thing as Drift, but I really hope Lyman gets to fulfil his dreams. He's so cute, and I love him so so much and if this isn't the cutest birthday party ever i don't know what is it's so nice to have both my starter villagers celebrate their birthdays with me and i just thought this is so so cute i couldn't be happier to celebrate their birthdays with them i'm so happy you came my smile's getting a serious workout today <laughs> well he already had the biggest smile so i'm sure it can't get any wider fairy lou heading out already chips well thanks for stopping by today and thanks for the gift well, that was absolutely lovely. I love celebrating the birthdays of my villagers. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it too. But actually, I think I'm going to end the entire weekly vlog style video here. So I think this has been four or five days now. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this new style of video, please do let me know because I would love to make more videos like this. It means I can make more New Horizons content more often without it being too short or boring. And I really do hope you enjoyed spending these few days with me in Little Land. I hope you've had a lovely week and I hope you're having a lovely day i really do appreciate you guys for watching and did you know if you leave a comment on my video it actually helps me get more engagement and then my video gets recommended more and then the channel grows more and then we get an even bigger community so if you feel like it please do leave a comment telling me anything at all because i love hearing about you and i love hearing what you liked about a video like i said i really do hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy it please do leave a like and subscribe only if you want to though and thank you all so much for watching and i'll speak to you on my next video bye Thank <laughs> you.